everyone. I am Erica of the storytellingjubeler.com and this is our usual Friday afternoons. No one has to be the long session when we are bidding together, sometimes over a hundred bidders from all over the world, creating colorful, beautiful jewels. So welcome. I hope that you can see me. I hope that you can hear me well. Please let me know in a comment if this technical side is all right, if you can if you can follow me. Already already like 52 beaters joined us here. It's it's been like one minute since uh, the broadcast started and there are 50, okay, at the moment, 51 beaters with us. Maria, Corina, Susan, Petra, Sarah, other Petra, Anna, Lisa Marie, Zuzi, Miriam, Robin, Diana, Beverly, Sharon. Ladies, I am so happy that you decided to join me again. And also, I would like to welcome those who are here with us for the first time. Um, uh, I would like to apologize first for being a couple of minutes late. This is one of the rare moments that I am at home alone. I mean, I am here and Edward the Poodle. So I had to brew my own coffee. <laughs> wow, 72, 72 beaters. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. <sighs> Thank you so much, dear. Jennifer, Robin, Teresa, Healy, Martina, Anita, Aneta, Monica, Katie. Friendly beating faces from all around the world. And you know what? Today we are celebrating, actually. Today it is the 10th time that we are bidding together on a Friday, afternoon or evening or in the morning, depending on your time zone. But indeed, it is, it, isn't it unbelievable? It's the 10th time that we are together. Do we have a bidder here? who was beating with us all the time, every 10, uh, 10 Fridays she spent, uh, she spent the uh, evening or spent time with us. Teresa's asking no coffee valet today. No, I'm very disappointed. However, I have company. I'm sorry for scaring you, Edward. He was hiding under my chair i would like to ah, here you go. this is edward the poodle and usually he's not very social we all love him but he tends to like being on his own however or dear nitty she sent him some treats which seem to work well and since i started to treat edward's to these snacks, then he doesn't want to leave my side. <laughs> but I, I will let him go. I think he he needs some privacy at the moment. He will stick around for it, uh, I think. But you know, sometimes he just most of the time he doesn't want us to touch him. It's such a, such a weird thing because he's so cute. He's like one of the cutest dogs I have ever seen. And then, then he doesn't doesn't he doesn't like us to touch him. Unbelievable! It's cruel. It's cruel to us. <laughs> Teresa is saying poodles are smart. Teach him how to make coffee. I should do that. Like, in exchange for the yummy treats from Niti, he should totally do that. Nit is asking which one is his favorite. We'll get a bag of it for next time. <laughs> You're so sweet. Thank you. So far, he's getting the fishy ones, the chicken and fish little rolls. And he loves it. 
<laughs> he loves it. So already, uh, my my flatmate, the poodle master, she already uh, told me that I have to ask Unity that where did you get it? Because she wants to wants to get some more because Edward is hooked. So <laughs> If you can send me the information, that would be great. <laughs> he says he doesn't like you, but he loves the candies. You know, we have this, we have this like really weird kind of relationship that he just has to be like open for like some socializing. And then he comes and we are playing. But when he's not in the mood, then he's not in the mood. Isn't it the same with everyone, by the way? So I don't blame him. No, he's like standing next to me and looking at me with like big black, big brown poodle eyes, <laughs> waiting for another treat. I'm not getting it. It was enough for today. <laughs> so back to my question. Oh yeah. Kata was here all the time. Thank you so much, Kata. <laughs> then Petra. I watch every 10 times, but not we did every design. Ingrid Frida, all 10 times. Anita, yeah, 10 times. Oh. It's amazing. Do you have a favorite? I would really love to know if you if you had a favorite. Then I know like which way to go. If you like, well, mm, usually how I see you tend to like everything. But yeah, I would love to hear that if you've had a favorite project. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, and it says, show your earrings. It looks so cool from far. Oh, I love them. Then uh, we will be able to move around a bit more than when you come on a Saturday. Then we should go to the Northern Market in Amsterdam. And the lady who makes these, She's always, well, most of the times uh, she's there and I love her jewelry. I also have a bracelet and everything is colorful and everything is like dangling and happy. So it's like really my, my style. <laughs> so, and I see... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, Susan says her favorite is the papillon. Oh, Sharon is asking, I have been here since Cleo. Was that the first? No, actually, we had two or three before that. We started with Vanessa, then we had it, had Chandigar. So that was the third, I think, the Cleo, Petra's favorite. Chloe, actually, it's Chloe. Yeah, it's also Zuzi's favorite. Me, uh, Anita's favorite too. Miriam liked Chandigar. Monica too. Sarah liked Louise Lotte. Katie liked Cleo. Anne liked Anne liked uh, Chinchilla. Connie liked Lea and Starry Night. Donna likes them. Uh, Donna likes them all. <laughs> Maria too. <laughs> oh yeah, and I love me too. I love seeing how everyone is combining colors. It's amazing. And not only colors, but it's really nice to see how you are playing with the basic motifs and you put together all different kinds of uh, kinds of jewels. I actually put together a little collection of uh, chinchilla bracelets or the chinchilla design transfer transformed into something else. But first, 
I will put on, on the screen the usual link where you can download the file for today already. Today we are beading the mosaic star earrings and it's already available. You can make your choice if you would like to if uh, download it for free or uh, if you can, then I would really like to ask you to consider maybe buying it for five euros so we can keep going with the videos. And in the meanwhile, here is the link on the screen. It's the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the long slash. You have to put the slash at the end too. So, so back to Chinchilla. We had some very, very nice results coming in. It's so nice that already like after the broadcast, like five minutes after the broadcast, it's like there is like an after party going in in my closed Facebook group, the storytelling beading club, and then everyone starts to show this work in progress jewels or already if it's a smaller project than the finished pieces, and it's and it's great. It's so nice to see. And the one here on the screen, it's made by Honey. And I love the colors. It's like a classic, nice combination, but this strong red color, it really makes the little flowers pop. So I think this is really a great choice. Then another one from Corina. And Corina actually, she made earrings from the chinchilla. And I think it's great. I'm always saying that it's not only one design. It's like many designs. There are like, there is the possibility in one motif, there is the possibility for many, many, many different jewels. So Corinna, she also made a bracelet, but she doubled it. So while I beaded like two rows of the flowers and one row of the little squares, but Corinna doubled it. So she has two rows of the little squares and three rows of the flowers. So it's like really a statement bracelet. And I love it. I think it's great. What do you all think? <laughs> then two very, very interesting ideas. This will be from my uh, long time beating friend Zuzi. And on this, on this bracelet, she actually filled the little squares in the middle with bicone beads. Uh, I don't remember, Zuzi, it was four millimeter bicone beads, right? I'm not sure it's three or four. Can you please tell us? I know you are here. That, uh, that uh, if you filled in three or four millimeters bicones, so maybe someone would like to do the same i think it's great and there is another jewel three millimeter thank you susie oh she's saying i think three version three and there is the three millimeter bike on yeah and another jewel from susie uh i am like uh one of my favorite components to use it's like a brooch base made out of a filigree and I see, I think that we really share this passion with Zuzi because she loves to make brooches and she uses the brooch bases from the storytellingjubler.com a lot. And this is a great example. She fixed a chinchilla motif with a three millimeter bicon in the middle uh, to, to, the, to, the, to a brooch base and she played with the colors and it came out great. Zuzi, when I saw this, then you totally inspired me for even more versions that, for example, I think it would totally be possible to connect little squares to each other, just the middle of the motif, what you did with green plus the bicon. I think that's a possibility that someone hopefully, or me if I will have the time, should pursue 
<laughs> and thank you so much for everyone. You all made beautiful, beautiful versions, and I love seeing them all. So, ah, uh, back to yeah. <laughs> what I wanted to say at the beginning. And I nearly forgot I have notes. I got so organized during these 10 weeks. At first, it was all just chaotic. And now I'm getting more and more organized. <laughs> but no matter that when do I start preparing for the broadcast, I finish like half a minute before 5 o'clock, or as today, two minutes after 5 o'clock. So. <laughs> It's always uh, like uh, there is always something last minute to do. And I made notes so for today. And yeah, this is our 10th time. And actually this week I was looking through some of, the fo some of my photos from previous years when I was visiting different kinds of bead shows, bead shops, and beading together with uh, beaders from different countries. And, you know, I got pretty emotional when I was, I was listing through those photos. And I think that, like, the beading community is, like, one of the reasons that I can keep going even through like these hard times and I see many many comments from you like saying the same that this community everyone here it is like it became a really important part of their lives so now I would like to thank you for showing up week by week for participating for showing photos and for, for, for all the kind comments you write each other, because it's, love, it's, it's heartwarming to see. And I had an idea that I think it would really nice to have, it would be really nice to have an album of photographs, just as I put together earlier this week from the beading meetings, from uh, different shows and uh, workshops. So I would like to ask you, if you have a phone in your hand, then sometime during this broadcast or when you are watching a recording, take a selfie. Let's make a picture together and send it to me for you, of yourself and of your camera. And I think it would be so nice to put it together and and see each other's faces and have a have a photo album of our own. What do you think? Uh, Sherry is asking, I'm not sure how to send my pictures to you. You can send me an email to erica at thestorytellingjubaler.com or you can message my page here on Facebook. Easy, easy. Oh, and Connie says, this community is like a warm blanket, indeed. I totally agree. Mary says, the beading communities have been a great source of support for me. I found them just before the COVID issues, just in time. Joanna. The bidding community has truly helped me through this time. Thank you all. Thank you so much, ladies, for being here. And let's get started, shall we? Oh, Teresa says, we should all meet in Amsterdam next year during tulip time. <laughs> that would be great indeed. That would be great. So, and before we start beading uh, the mosaic star, I just would like to mention that uh, this month I am the guest teacher at the Seed Beads and More uh, Facebook group, where you can watch uh, video recordings with me and learn the basics of beading, uh, bead embroidery. So if you would like to 
uh, bead with me even more and you would like to learn the basics, then please find the seed beads and more group and find the lessons. I am really, really looking forward to, to help you get start getting started on your journey with embroidery. We already have three lessons uploaded and three live Q and A's. And next week, the last lesson is coming when we will attach a bail to the necklace. And I saw that during the uh, bead embroidery month, a lot of you got pretty hooked on using rhinestone chains. And that is a passion we share, <laughs> like the collection of rhinestone chains. What you see at the storytellingjeweler.com that grew out of my personal, uh, like being a cup chain junkie. Yes. <laughs> And I have many, many, many different colors, rare colors waiting for you there. And since so many beaders got hooked on cup chains, then we started to run low on the stocks of Preciosa cup chains. And this week, when I wanted to reorder the rhinestones, which we use for the cup chains, then I uh, found out that many of the beautiful colors, they were either discontinued or they were uh, they are going to be discontinued soon so i decided that yeah basically i would like to risk you for the beading community basically buy up for the beading community as much of the rhinestones the pretty rhinestones as possible so i created an option for you i, I will put the link into a comment if you would like to also also uh, help in this. <laughs> so check it out after the broadcast. And thank you so much for everyone who already contributed because I could already add several packages of our beloved colors. It's going soon. <laughs> so, and back, uh, back, to our mosaic star. I hope you could download the PDF already. And let's get started. Let's start with checking uh, with checking the uh, with checking the material list for mosaic star. And uh, yeah, sorry, just a question from Sherry that, oh, no, I haven't used the caption yet. want to try using it. Captions will be always available, I guess. It's just like Preciosa has a lot of really exquisite colors, opals and ABs, and uh, they also had frosted and icicle effects. And those extras will not be available anymore. So that's why I decided to organize the rescue mission, but you will always find, find cup chains at the storytelling .com. And back to the material list. So let's check what we have on our beading mats to make sure that everything uh, is all right. So you might already know my favorite beading thread. It's fire line for lb or for the metric people it's 0 0.12 millimeters 99 percent of my projects they are done with fire line my favorite beading needle is a tulip 12 and a 10 i am alternating between the two and for the beads i will uh, uh, tell the amounts for one motif because I don't know if you want to make a pendant or a pair of earrings. So in case that you would like to bead earrings, then you will need to double the amount of material. What I am saying. Someone rang the bell. Uh-oh. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> for, for Edward. So, for one motive, you will need six pieces of John Duo beads in the middle. Edward. 
and then you will need six pieces of six millimeter, uh, six pieces of four millimeter bicone beads. Then we need 12 pieces of three millimeter fire polished beads. And from the seed beads, we need number 15 and 11 seed beads, round ones, and also number 11 delica beads. This is the basic motif. And there are, again, many possibilities that how can you use the mosaic star? If you decide to have only the small motif, then you can make, for example, a V-shaped necklace by connect connecting several of them. You can make like a cute little pendant or a little pair of uh, earrings. And uh, it's also possible to connect several pieces of the motifs and into a bracelet. I would love to see a bracelet if anyone is up to the challenge. And if you would like to make bigger earrings or a bigger pendant, then you can add a cabochon on top of the little motif. It can be, I used an eight millimeter Rivoli, but actually it can be any kind of cabochon. It doesn't even have to be a Rivoli. You can have an oval, you can have a cushion cut, you can have a bigger, a smaller, whatever fits your style. And at the bottom, I decided to use a pendant drop, a Swarovski pendant drop, but again, it's completely up to you if you would like to use it or not. This is how mine looks like. And actually, this is the very few times that I beaded already a full pair, so I can actually wear it. <laughs> so, yeah, and it says treat, treat. Actually, the Poodle Master, she told me not to give him too many because I have a feeling that Edward started to like the treats too much. And today he was refusing to eat his normal food. So I shall obey the Poodle Master. <laughs> so, all oh, Zuzi has to go. Zuzi, I hope you will at least like stay with us and listen, even if you will be working on something else. But good luck with the with the beading. Yeah, Margaret, I really hope that your kitty will be all right. So, are you prepared? Let me know. Let me know that if you have everything. And let's get started. If you have, I will have a sip of coffee. Nicolene is saying that she has internet problems, but uh, I'm sorry, Nicolene, but like that must be something probably on your side that maybe you have a slower connection. If you are maybe in the background downloading something, then I would uh, recommend switching off everything else. When I'm having a broadcast, then I like to switch off everything I can, all the programs, WhatsApp and everything on my, on my phone. So I see you are ready. Denise has a question already. Can you use a 12 millimeter Rivoli? Absolutely, Denise. You can use whatever you want. Actually, you can even put just a bigger bead on top of the motif because we are not connecting anything else to the bezel. Today, we will beat together the middle part and then you can uh, continue on your own with the drop and with the Rivoli. Everything is explained in the printable file. So let's get started. I, I would like to show you one more time the big picture so you can see it better. And then I am starting to show the diagrams. We will need a bit more like than a meter of fire line, but like 110 centimeters. Sorry. So let's get started. First step, let's pick up six pieces of gem dual beads. 
as you see, I added a new detail to the diagrams. And now there will always be information on top of the diagram that what kinds of new beads are we adding in the current step. So in this step, we are adding gem dual beads. Gem dual beads have a flat bottom and a bumpy top. So make sure that the flat side is at the bottom indeed. <laughs> so from the six pieces, we need to create a circle. So when you pick them up, just take a peek or push your needle through the second hole to make sure that the second hole is also uh, is not clogged. It can happen sometimes that a piece of glass is stuck, gets stuck during production. So pick up the six gem duos and then please tie a knot between the working end and the tail of this thread. And then you can go through the inside hole, the first hole of the next gem duo one more time. And then you turn to the opposite direction by beading through the open hole of the same gem duo bead. I already have it in the meanwhile. My second version will be metallic blue, a more elegant. I have this like happy, happy. And then I have this very elegant version prepared. So please tell me in a comment if this part is going all right. I will drink coffee in the meanwhile. Oh, Aniko needs the link again. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I created a page at the storytellingjeweler.com where I will be adding all the broadcasts. So now the link is not changing week by week, but now you can always find the, uh, the printables and every information at the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the one slash. I am also gradually adding the older broadcasts there, so you will not have to search. First step done. Let's move on to the second one. Here, Ex we are exiting the outside hole of a gem duel. And now we need to pick up a number 15 seed bead, a four millimeter bicone bead, and another number 15 seed bead. And then we bead through the open hole of the next gem duel. And this is how we will uh, fill in the gaps between the open holes of the gem duos, between the second holes of the gem duos. Always number 15, four millimeter bicone, number 15. So please let me know if this is clear. This step, I would not pull it like absolutely absolutely tight i also i will not lo uh, leave it loose but just enable it to move to be flexible a little bit because we will need to cross through those number 15 beads so it's nice if you don't make your job in the future more complicated <laughs> So, and don't forget about taking pictures and send me afterward. You can also just, uh, if you take a selfie now, then you can also upload it into the comments, into a comment after the broadcast. Because of the limitations of the program I am using, it is not possible to send a picture in a comment now, but after the broadcast is over, you will indeed be able to upload a picture here. And when you finished adding the last group of number 15 by cone number 15, then cross through the gem duo as usual. And also please bead through the first number 15 bead that you added. Okay, Edward calmed down now. Somebody rang the bell and that's a horrible intrusion to his little poodle bird, it seems. 
<laughs> I hope it was not my webcam. Usually, like I am the one who is jumping and running to the to the door because I get the most packages. But today, well, Edward did not open the door, so I'm very dis and I didn't want to leave you. So I hope it was not the webcam. So can we go to step three? What do you say? If yes, then you should be exiting the uh, number 15 before a bike on beat. And then you will pick up five pieces of the uh, Milky Delica beads. And then you will continue beading through number 15, outside hall of the gem duo, number 15. So there should be always five pieces of Miyuki Delica beads over, over a bicone bead, over the four millimeter bicone bead. And actually, I will try to show it to you that the bicons okay i will hide this so you see my see me in a bigger version that the bicons and the seed beads they create a bit of a texture so they the bicon beads are a little bit on top of this part with the five delica beads so let me know how is it going with step three? Ang joined us, Ang joined us in the meanwhile. Welcome. <laughs> so I'm going around my motif and I'm adding five pieces of Delica beads around the bicons. Oh, Joyce is also here. Hello. I just saw your message and friend. Okay. Miriam is done with number five, number three. I'm not. I have to catch up. I have to talk less or drink more coffee. <laughs> That's always an option, more coffee. I can always justify it. Why do I need to drink more coffee? Why do I need to drink another coffee even at five o'clock or six o'clock in the evening? <laughs> So, I don't see comments coming in at the moment. I hope everyone, every 89 beaders are very busy beading the mosaic star. Let me know, please. When you have added the last group of five Delica beads, then afterward, please bead through a number 15 an outside hole of a gem duo and the first number 15 before a bicone bead. And then I will show you. Okay, Petra is done, Miriam is done, Robin is done. So I will show you number four. And in step number four, you will add number 15 and number 11 round beads. And in the meanwhile, when we are beading through the Delica beads added in the previous step, then always please skip the middle one. So at first, bead through. If you are starting out from the gem duo, then gem duo number 15, then two number 11s over the bicon, skip the, uh, the middle number 11 Delica, continue through the last two number 11 Delicas over the bicon. And then 
you can uh, pick up a number 15 round bead, a number 11 round bead. Should I, I have to put a bit on my beading mat. So a number 15 round bead, a number 11 round bead, and an order number 15 round bead. And then you continue through two number 11 delica beads, you skip the middle one, and then you continue through the last two number 11 delica beads. And this is actually the step when these five delica beads will slip a little bit under the bicon, but don't pull it too much, okay? Susan joined us, Susan Marie. I had hand surgery Wednesday, so no beading yet. We'll try tomorrow. We are wishing you a speedy recovery, and I hope that by tomorrow you will be all right. Nicoline has a big problem. She cannot decide on the colors. I would advise when you are beating such a motif, like a mandala shaped something, like these little motifs, I would start out from the middle. That I would recommend to start by choosing your gem duos and then the other bigger beads, the four millimeter delicas and the three millimeter fire polish. Janice, I just wanted to say like, where is Janice? She's always here and I didn't see a comment from you yet. Hello. So please let me know how is it going with step number four. Please tell me in a comment if this is this is clear or if I should explain it in a different way. I am always happy to answer questions, to try to rephrase, rephrase it. So Jill says, can you go over this step again? Of course. So in uh, step number four, we are when we are beading through the delica beads added in the previous step, then we always skip the middle delica beads. So we bead through the first two and the last two, but not the middle one to make this part pointier. And between the groups of delica beads, we will add a group of number 15, number 11, number 15. And this is how you need to go all around. I can hide number three, so you see number four better. I would really, if it is possible, then I would really recommend to use a tablet or a, or a, or a notebook for this or a computer. Oh, Sharon used round, round uh, seed beads in the previous step. Uh, Sharon, if you are you get used to my tutorials, then you will actually know these abbreviations. What I uh, I am showing at the top. So when it's like you see like new beads R15 and R11, then it means that you need to add round 15 and round 11. And in the previous step, it was C11, which means like cylinder shaped 11. So, so that's how, that's how it's easier to, to follow. Oh, Joanna had an internet problem. Joanna, then please try downloading the tutorial and then you can catch up easier with us. But yeah, it's not a complicated one. So I will show you 
it looks like a little cup actually that the delicas are a bit under the four millimeter bicone beads oh molly indeed i did not see your question i'm sorry uh is the goal to make the delica slip under the bicones or to not slip under the bicones uh we don't want to pull absolutely hard in this step but they will slip a little bit under the bicons but let them not slip as much as possible if that's clear <laughs> they should be out from under the bicons as much as possible but again don't leave it loose so how are you ladies doing with step number four when you add after you add the last group of number 15 11 and 15 then afterward please bead through three delica beads over a bicone and you should finish this step by sewing through uh, by beading through a delica in the middle of a group one which we skipped before so please tell me how are you doing oh my god i always have snacks on my table when i am beading with you just to like you know fuse my brain power but now all i have is edward's snacks so i i think i have to put them somewhere further because then unintentionally i would take a piece I'm actually a vegetarian, so I, I really don't want to eat his chicken and fish <laughs> uh, snacks. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I believe him that they are yummy, but I, I think I will, I will pass. <laughs> so Robin says that she is ready. Are you ready for the next step? Beverly is also ready. Hello, Beverly. So then let's go for step number five. This will seem to be tricky. I know, I know, but it isn't, in fact. So you are exiting at the moment a delica in the middle of a group over a bicon bead. You pick up a new delica bead and you attach it to the delica you were exiting at the beginning. At, by attaching, I mean that you are beading again through the original delica, then again, one more loop that you go through the new delica, old delica, and then you finish by beading through the new delica. And when this is done, then you will need to pick up a number 15, a three millimeter fire polished and another number 15. And afterward, you will bead through around number 11, the closest one. So I know that this is a bit tricky. So please tell me if I was, uh, if I was clear or if I should explain it again. So first you are exiting I already started explaining it again. <laughs> there is a delay between how I am talking and how you see me. So why not? <laughs> so you attach a new Delica bead to the one you are exiting. And then you bead through the new Delica bead. You pick up number 15, three millimeter fire polished, and another number 15. And then you bead through the round 11 on the left-hand side. And after beading through the round 11, you will pick up a number 15, a three millimeter fire polished, another number 15, and a delica. And this delica, again, you will attach it to a delica bead in the middle of a group over the next bicon bead. I always like to make two loops when attaching beads this way to each other. So Katie says it's clear, Petra says it's clear. 
I'm very happy. <laughs> if anyone has a question, then just let me know, okay? Oh, where it says she loves it. Thank you so much. I love it that you love it. <laughs> I'm getting pretty excited uh, by this uh, elegant colorway too. Usually, it's not my not my type of of beadwork, but today actually, I wanted to bead something for my sister. Many of you know know her. She's Yvette, my helper at the storytellingjeweler.com, and you might know that. She has uh, two little children who are at home these days with her. And besides being with the kids, she's also ver working very hard to writing you emails and packing your beads and sending the packages. So, and I know that uh, that she will she will like this like this elegant colorway and i wanted to thank her for her hard work <laughs> i think she's not watching us today so it will actually be a surprise <laughs> Ah, yeah, Jenny says, do with leather twice on the Delica. Thank you so much. <laughs> Friday afternoon, the leather stitch, the expression, it just didn't come to my mind. Thank you so much. <laughs> <At times. laughs> I really hope that she will, she will like it. <laughs> She loves blue, I know that. It really suits her. And she loves earrings and all kinds of beaded jewelry. So, but she's not a beater herself. How funny, right? She's hanging out all the time with us in the group. She's working with beads. She loves what she's doing, but she didn't start beading yet. <laughs> So, Sarah says it's clear. Please give me feedback if you are doing all right. Oh, thank you, Sarah. 91 readers here at the moment. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> During our dance <gasps> broadcast. Janice, tell me please that where exactly do you need do you need help? I will try exp to explain it. Uh, one more time. So you are starting out of a number 11 Delica, the middle one above a bicone bead. Oh, okay. I see you are all right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to add a new Delica on top of the Delica in the middle. Then you add the combination of number 15, three millimeter number 15. You bead through the number 11. Then again, the combination of 15, three millimeter fire polished number 15. And then again, you add a Delica with the double leather stitch. I'm glad, Jana, that you could catch up. Great. Okay. So you are doing all right, uh, I guess. Lovelies. 
I don't see any questions at the moment. I nearly finished my circle. So then soon we will move on to step number six. Do you, by the way, also have pets at home? If yes, then tell me if it's a dog, a cat, a, I don't know, a tiger, whatever. <laughs> For a while, we had an inflatable lion in the kitchen. Both me and cat, we had our birthdays. Cat is the poodle master. We had our birthdays recently, and around her birthday, she got herself an inflatable lion from Hema. My Dutch friends will know it. <laughs> oh, Miriam has a cat named Tigger. <laughs> Viveka has spiders. Like, Viveka, do you have spiders, like, deliberately? Some, like, big ones in a glass like terrarium or do you have like spiders just just house spiders deb has a cat sharon has three cats sarah has three cats susan has dogs hunts. honey has two dogs Pitbull and Pyrenees. Nancy has a Yorkie. Diane has a cat. Jennifer has two dogs sleeping very hard. Joyce has metal cats and dogs. <laughs> Corinne has she twos. Two parrots and a lion head bunny. <laughs> John has a chocolate Labrador. Chocolate Labradors are so cute. I love them. Monica has cats. <laughs> and I saw a question from Petra. It's a bit round. Is that okay? I will show you how mine looks like. This is it at the moment. I'm trying to keep it in a, oh, you know what? I will put this, I learned this from Anna. Anna was with us a couple of weeks ago. I will try to put it in front of a piece of paper. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Then I will show you my previous motive. It's, it's getting ground. It will not remain a star. <laughs> oh my God, Viveka says big ones in the house. How big ones? I'm scared of spiders. Alj Bieta needs a bit of instructions with step number five. I will hide step number four so you can see it better. So in step number five, you are exiting a number 11 Delica bead, the middle one over a Bicon bead. And then you attach a new Delica bead to this middle one with double leather stitch meaning that you pick up the new one, you beat through the old one again, new, old, and new. And then when you beat it through the new Delica bead, then you pick up number 15, three millimeter fire polished, number 15. And then you beat through the uh, nearest uh, number 11 round bead. And then you again pick up number 15, three millimeter fire polished, number 15. You pick up a new Delica again and you attach it to the next Delica in the middle of a group over a bicon bead. Does this help you? Ashbieta? 
please let me know. Okay, Petra is okay. Oh, Viveka, I hate them. They're coming in when the winter is coming. I hate spiders. Nadia joined us. So, oh, once when, when I was in India and we went to the Himalayas uh, in, the, in the north, and I was already like prepared for sleeping, like just in a t-shirt and underwear in the bed. And then I saw like two big black spots opposite of me on the wall. And I don't know if you have heard of huntsman spiders, but the name huntsman gives it away. They are big and scary and they don't have nets but they are like running through the through the walls to catch something so it's not even so easy to to put them out somehow and they were and they are really hairy and blah disgusting and i got scared so much that i ran out on the corridor and like start and i started to scream like spider spider and wow it is like one of my most traumatizing experiences ever <laughs> oh. ashpeta says i can't exit in the new delica well you like make a little circle shape that you start out from the old then you go uh, then you pick up the new you go back to the old then again the new and to reinforce it again old delica and new delica so you just stop beating after the new new delica Okay, so let's look at the comments. Janice says, I had to add the Delica in the reverse direction. It can happen that you are going in the opposite direction, then you just have to mirror the image in your head and you will be not in to the left, but to the right. That's completely all right. Hilly. Uh, you have to specify. Can you please specify, please? Because I didn't catch it. Uh, uh, uh. The fire polished are three millimeter ones. The bicons are four, four millimeter ones, but the fire polished are three millimeter ones. I hope I didn't make a mistake in the... I hope I didn't make a mistake. I'm looking now at the... No, three millimeter. It's four millimeter bicone beads, but three millimeter fire polished beads. The original picture is all right. <laughs> three millimeter fire polished beads. So... Let me know how you are doing when you add the last group of number 15, three millimeter fire polished and number 15, then you need to bead through the newly, the first newly added Delica bead. No. Yeah, that, that unfortunately you will need to redo Diane. Sorry, Hilly, thanks. I really, I am doing my best to like keep an eye on my beading, the screen, the instructions, the comments. And so, <laughs> so sometimes I'm overreacting. <laughs> so, Viveka says it's done. Lutka says it's done. Hello, Lutka. Ingrid Frida says it's done. Then let's move on to number six. Six, shall we? This is the diagram of number six. 
And again, we will attach, oh great, Janice also has it. Great. So in this step, we will attach at first one more delica bead with leather stitch to the one which we added in the previous step. Then we bead through. And this time we are starting out from the old delica bead. Then we bead out from number 15, fire polished number 15. And here between the two number 15 beads, we will add a pickle of three new number 15 round beads. And we bead through number 15, fire polished number 15. Afterwards, we pick up a delica bead and we attach it right after, we pick up the delica bead right after exiting a number 15. And then we attach it to the old delica bead with leather stitch and we bead back, we bead through the new delica bead again. And again, beading through number 15, fire polished number 15, adding a pico and so on and so on. And I will repeat it one more time. So we are exiting one of the delica beads at the beginning of the step we are exiting one of the delica beads added in step number five. We attach a new delica bead with leather stitch to it. After attaching it, we bead through number 15, fire polished number 15. Afterward, we pick up three pieces of the uh, number 15 round beads and then we bead through number 15 fire polished number 15. we pick up a new delica bead and with leather stitch we attach it to a delica bead added in the previous step and starting from the new delica bead we go through number 15 fire polished number 15 and then adding a pickle again so and and so on all around please let me know that how is it going okay i hope everyone is busy at work You don't stop amazing me. I'm ready with one piece and it's cool that it has a bit of structure. Immediately starting my second color combo. I love what I pulled together. I love it too. I saw it uh, uh, in the club and I love it. Especially that first one. Jenny says it's good. Katy is doing okay. Petra, the first delica you attach, you start from the old delica and later from the new delica. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, as you see on the picture, when we go all around, then we will connect the last number 15 to the new first new delica. Then we will attach the drop bead and when we bead up to the opposite side of the motif to attach the rivoli, then we, we, uh, then we connect the delica, the new delica to the uh, number 15 on the other side. But it is like one way of doing it. 
and I know what do you have on your mind and it is possible to do it on, or I think I know what you might have on your mind. It is possible to do it in another way. Sarah, I almost have two done. Diane is asking, I am not sure how to come out of the new Delica. Uh, so after a number 15, you pick up a Delica bead. You bead through the old Delica bead in the opposite direction. And then you bead through the new Delica bead in the original direction again. And that's it. Next time, I think I will make like a detail of the picture and then you can see it, that detail in bigger. What do you think about it? I think that might help. And we have a Hungarian beading friend, Ilona, saying that she needs illustrations to follow. Uh, uh, so I will, I think that she doesn't uh, speak English maybe, so I will switch for two sentences to Hungarian to explain it to her. So, uh, Ilona, az illusztrációkat mindig egyrészt látod a képernyőn, másrészt pedig meg szoktam adni egy linket, már is beadom, egy megjegyzésbe, és ott vagy le tudod tölteni, vagy pedig meg tudod vásárolni, hogyha támogatni szeretnéd a videókat, akkor, akkor meg tudod vásárolni 5 euróért. Szóval csak kattints oda a linkre, és akkor, és akkor ott van a letöltés és a vásárlási opció egymás mellett, és eldöntheted, hogy neked most melyik opció felel meg jobban. So back to English. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> And Diane gets it now. Woohoo! <laughs> Great. <laughs> How are you doing, ladies? Miriam had a hiccup of the internet. I'm so sorry. Yeah, internet connections these days, they are so, so, so important. Now that we are doing everything online. Workshops and meetings with friends. So how is it going with step number six? Ilona Majon Sivesen. Oh Lutka is also also finished. Gratulujem. <laughs> Lutka is a dear beading friend from Slovakia. I was born, actually born and raised in Slovakia, and I used to have a bead shop there for six years. And that's where I got to know Lutka and also many other beading friends. So Step six is done. I'm not there yet, but nearly. So there should be, to explain about the Delica beads, there should be actually at the moment three Delica beads on top of each other in the middle of a bicone bead. So 
you have to be careful that when do you go through the first, the second, or the third Telica beads. <laughs> Oh, Miriam says the colors I chose are so ugly together. I had to switch to my safe zone. I get you. Actually, now that I was trying to pull together a color combination, which is like outside of my comfort zone, like this elegant dark blue combination, I'm so not happy with it. <laughs> I'm afraid that I will, I will cut it apart and start a new. Ah, Kathy says she has um, her husband has family in Prague. I used to live in Prague too for two years. <laughs> it's one of my favorite places in the world. Zuzi is back. So, ladies, the remaining part, I will explain it to you. That how to do it quickly. And then you can download the printable file at the page from the page which i which i posted and then we can meet after the broadcast in the storytelling beading club and continue sharing our progress with each other but first let's uh, quickly just uh, go through the steps i would like to just explain how do i do the drop and how do i do the revolley and somehow today everyone has problems with colors <laughs> and also me too, Nicolene too, Miriam too. <laughs> so, about the drop, you will be exiting the Delica bead at the bottom and you will need to pick up a couple of number 15s, the drop, and a couple more number 15s on the other side of the drop. In my case, the drop has a pretty wide hole. So I picked up 10 number 15s and four of the number 15s, they actually slide it into my drop. So if that's your case, then just make sure to fill up the hole of the drop pendant with some number 15s and it's also possible by the way easily to attach a drop which is uh, which has a hole from the top to drilled from the top to the bottom in this case after the delica you go directly to the uh, to the drop you pick up for example a number 15 at the bottom you bead back up through the drop again through the delica and then you can continue and when you have this part, I will show it one more time, then you bead on the edge of the motif all the way up to the opposite side of the motif to a delicate bead. The third one you added. And then you will attach one more delicate bead at this point there there will be four delica beads on each on top of each other and exiting this newest fourth delica bead you will pick up 21 more uh more uh delica beads and you will form a circle out of the 21 plus one and these 22 delica beads will be the base for the peyote bezel around the Rivoli. So if you know my designs, then you know that I like to bead in one go. I don't like to add a new thread. So this is my way of attaching uh, more peyote bezels, that I make first a circle already attached to the motif, and then I progress with the normal uh, bezel. Uh, in this case, one more row of Delica beads and two rows of number 15s on the front and two rows of number 15s on the back. And Joanna is asking, should we go through the drop a couple times to reinforce if we can't fit uh, 15s in it? Yes, indeed, Joanna, that's a great idea. If you feel like the design needs it or if you have like a bigger, heavier drop, 
or you just want to make sure that uh, there won't be any accidents, then reinforce through the number 50 and send the drop. Holly says she loves it. <laughs> And Janice is also not happy with the colors. We have to discuss what's happening today in the club afterwards. <laughs> so when you have the when you have the uh, bezel, then you bead up to the top of the bezel and you attach another delica bead on top of the bezel, which will become the base for a little loop on top of the rivoli and this little loop will hold the earring hooks in case you want to make earrings and afterward you can just uh, reinforce this loop too you can secure your thread ends and you can cut away anything extra so this was it dennis was asking where is the downloadable file i will put the download link one more time to the comment field. Here it is also, the storytellingjeweler.com slash no one has to be the long slash. And it's your choice. If you experience financial trouble because of the because of COVID, then please accept the printable file uh, as my support to you, as my helping hand. And if you are doing still all right, then please consider purchasing the file so we can keep going with the videos or placing even better, placing an order at the storytellingjeweler.com. So thank you so much, ladies, for being with me for the 10th time today. You are amazing. And I am really, really looking forward to see all your variations in the storytelling beading club during the after party. The ugly ones, <laughs> what you consider to be not so nice, and also your second and third choices. So, thank you very much. Take care and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye, everyone.